Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jensen Blake, and this is No Man's Sky. And I'm going home, or rather, I'm going back to the planet in which I first spawned on this game. And that's because, as anyone who's playing this game or seen anything about it knows, the very first things this game tries to make you do is to leave the planet. There's this whole tutorial set up around repairing your ship, getting your hyperdrive and your pulse engines and your warp drive and your flux polarity converters and everything fixed so that you can fly off into space and explore the galaxy. I went back and had a look at the planet which I spawned on and it actually looks quite nice compared to some of the shitholes I've been to. So I spawned in here, in the Balances of Power Homeworlds. And as you see, discovered by Jensen... Whoop, 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 by Jensen Blake. Which is me! Spelt with an O as well, Jenson. Amazing. And I spawned on this planet here, which I named Cursed. It has blazed weather, which... Oh, no, wait, no. Did I spawn on Cursed? No, I didn't spawn on Cursed. Hmm? Oh, it's because of... Ha, ah, yes. Hang on, I have to actually click the planet. <laughs> I spawned here on Cursed, which had mild weather, relaxed sentinels, generous flora and common fauna. Which is really nice. It wasn't a parched hellhole or a toxic wasteland or a nuclear winter or any of the other crap that I've been to. I mean, look at Karth. So Karth, for example. Unclouded sky, like, all long... Basically, what I'm trying to say is... The place I came from was really nice, so I think it'll pay to go back and have a look around and, you know, maybe in the process investigate No Man's Sky a little. Okay, so we need to find Cursed in the sky. There doesn't seem to be some sort of in-game map which sort of can make navigation a little bit difficult. Now that's Longstock. I don't mind Longstock, but it's not where I'm trying to go now. That's Karth again. Ooh, I can see three planets on my radar. Uh, I'm not very good at navigating on this. Ah, very dizzy. I'm not very good at navigating on this game yet. So there's a planet there. Oh, is there a planet behind it? Or up? Behind me? Behind it? It's one planet being eclipsed by another. Let's go look behind the planet. So let's engage our pulse engines. Whoa! And we'll go into. There we go. It was hiding behind it. Yummy little booger like you are. Okay, let's come out of pulse. Let's slow right down so we don't go slap bang into a meteor. And there is Cursed. Wow, that's loud. Let's engage our pulse engines again. And off we go to Cursed. Now it's going to take us one minute to get there. You can see the little arrival time. So I'm going to skip that because it's very unlikely that anything interesting will happen. Hostile. I get it. You can stop talking to me. I understood after the first message that something bad was going to go down. Right, off. I've got a photon cannon and a phase beam. Okay, and there are, looks like there's three, three or four ships. Four ships, bloody hell. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Right, we might die here, uh, which <laughs> wouldn't be the ideal introduction to the video. So yeah, occasionally when you're moving between planets, dickwads attack. And um, they're really annoying and they're kind of okay to fight. I think that's the sort of politest way. I won't say they're bad to fight. They've got a nice simple bam, there goes one. Simple sort of mechanic. They would be much more fun to fight if, as we're about to see, refueling the shields wasn't so bloody irritating. So you can see on the top left-hand side of the screen my shield bar is being reduced. Whoops! You have to pop into your inventory, go to charge, select a thing to charge it, and then carry on. All while in the battle. Eh, that's a bit crap, honestly. That, that really is a bit crap. You see, what happened to him there, he couldn't get into his inventory screen fast enough to actually charge for the battle. Ooh, but I did get some gold. Hmm, so maybe this is worthwhile. Will you go away? Go away, I don't like you. Stop it. Naughty. Uh, it's just a game of chase the pointer. Like like a bastarding mobile game. Oh, and my gun's overheated as well. That's my bar was sort of holding it down. Boom, there goes another one. My shields are looking a little bit rattled, so let's just pump some more iron into the shields. There we go. And then we just got this one guy here. I'll tell you what, I'm doing much better in this fight than I have previous ones. That's because I've upgraded my ship, so the uh, canny amongst you might have noticed that I'm not actually flying the default starting ship. I upgraded it to a slightly less crap ship, um, and one of the crucial upgrades I've got is slightly better shields, and that seems to have made one hell of a difference to this fight, as... Bloody hell. Did it say hostile ships deleted? I mean, technically that's true, but... My standing with the Corvax has increased. I like the Corvax. So, you're not alone in this galaxy. That's quite important. In fact, it's not so much that you're not alone. This galaxy is ridiculous.
ridiculously overpopulated, but only by ten aliens per planet. And they come in a different range of species. I think I've met I think I've met all three species, and my favourite by far so far are the Corvax. And they are basically the Cybermen from Doctor Who. They come in a variety of shapes and sizes, but broadly speaking, they're androids with computers for heads. Um, which makes them quite pleasant. And they, they seem mostly to be interested in cataloguing all the life and all the stuff in the galaxy, and broadly speaking, that's what I'm doing. Because I'm what's called the explorer gamer type. And that means that I hate gameplay, but really like travelling from planet to planet, which kind of makes No Man's Sky an ideal game for me. Hmm. So. Cursed. Things on this planet, things on this game, rather, things on this game get really big when you get up close. And this is cursed from orbit. Look at that beautiful, beautiful glitching there as the mip maps struggle to keep up. Mm. There's been a lot of criticism of the graphics of this game. Um, I don't know if that's just because people have unrealistic expectations or because they drank the Kool-Aid from the E3 trailers, but whatever it is, people seem to have been very harsh. And I don't think quite fairly so. It's not a gorgeous game, but I think it's a perfectly pleasant game to look at. And it lets you do this if we hold on to our hats as we go through the atmosphere and become David Bowie and then suddenly with no loading screens this is all sort of real as it were suddenly we're on cursed and flying above the terrain I'm still going quite fast so if I slow down ooh there's a thing there ooh, ooh. ooh. let's land here Oh, land! I said land. I know the landing area is not... Okay, we'll land here. Here is close enough. And welcome to Cursed. So yeah, I never really looked around on my home planet. I'm, I'm assuming this is my home planet. This is, this is where I sort of phased into existence in the first place. It's very pretty. You know, this game's had a lot of criticism, and a lot of the screenshots people are comparing with E3 are of really muddy, crap planets, but the thing with procedural generation, it's procedural. Sometimes you get muddy, crap planets, and sometimes you get things like this. I think this is quite pretty. It's got a sort of... I don't know what you would call the art style on this game. Nice. It's got a nice art style, and this here is a monument, so we should go and investigate this. Now it looks like a gigantic eye looking upwards, but crucially, it's got my, one of my favourite things on this game, knowledge stones. I'm a little bit obsessed about collecting these things, so we hold E. I've learned the Korvax word for disgust, which previously I would have only known as because they spoke Murloc. And the Korvax word for overheat, I can't imagine that's going to be very useful. And finally, the Korvax word for contact, well that could be useful. So up in space, or sometimes here on the planets, when I meet aliens, I can't understand them. Because they're aliens. There's no Star Trek Universal Translator bullshit here. I haven't the foggiest idea what they're saying at first. And it gives you options, and you can pick one. Quite often you pick the wrong thing, and that's really nice. That's something more games should play with. Uh, the way this game gets around it is it has these, uh, like, uh, anomalies sonic screwdrivers. And they teach you words of a language, and you can buzz around collecting these, like, uh, you know, your good old Ubisoft icons. And then over time, you can learn to speak the alien language. And I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted by birds. Hello? Well, not really birds, are they? Like, oh god, bat creatures. They are mamjujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujujuj
Oh, I never uploaded that one. Well, it's a tree. I'm not renaming a bloody tree. Where's Happiest Turtle like? There you go. He looked kind of happy and kind of turtle like, so he became Happiest Turtle like. Let's come up with a suitably amazing name here for Nemjibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibijibij
but mainly they sort of have X-Pac heat there, if you know the term. They're, they're just irritating, they're not actually beneficial. They're one of the things that get, have been very heavily criticised on this game. But as I sort of draw to a halt, you see darkness is falling, and I love it, I love it, I love it! <laughs> I find it impossible to stay angry at the things this game does wrong, because I'm standing on a procedurally generated planet, which, I'm sorry, is beautiful in its own sort of weird way, and it's getting dark. And there's particles in the sky, and oh, I'm a sucker for particle effects. I think that's really nice. So there are all of these strange little... Bloody hell, I don't know what that noise was. There are all of these strange little floating islands, just sort of dotted around the place. I think I might actually go and land on one, just to see, you know, what's actually there. Is it, can I get on this one? Is it going to let me? Yeah, it is. Oh, let's slow down. Let's just land on the very edge of the floating island. Oh, they kind of they've kind of got steps on them, like a like an amphitheatre or maybe the the giant's causeway, something like that. How oh, very bizarre. Oh, and it's got some spiky plants as well, which I assume are hostile. It's, I've already discovered that. Are you hostile? No, you're just ominous. Okay, fair enough. I suppose, I suppose not everything could be hostile. And there's a blob there. Let's scan the blob. I imagine it's rockiest rock. Easel white. Hmm. Okay. Who is scanning me? Right. Okay. I'm annoyed now. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. I know I shouldn't pick a fight with these things, but... But they're really irritating. I don't like them. I know picking fight with things you don't like is usually bad practice, but... I think in that case... Oh, oh no. Oh, I've only just... Have I only just understood part of the game? Are those like the GTA stars flashing in the top right? So I'm now sort of wanted one level by the Sentinels. Yeah, I think... I think. That... Oh, he's underneath me. Prick. And now it's gone up to two. Oh, and now... Yes, yeah, so you see, now I'm up to two stars. So I wonder if I get to, like, five stars. Well, will there be tanks? Like, four stars as helicopters, five stars as tanks. Bang. Fuck off. Oh, three stars. We've got one of the land kind of walker tank things. I've seen these before. They're bastards. Oh, and, and some more flying ones as well. The flying one we can just fuck with quickly. Fuck off. Bam. There you go. I've got some auto saves, so if I do die, we won't, I won't actually lose any of my progress because, you know, this is, this is my actual save game. I don't particularly want to lose all my progress. Where is Tankman? Tankman, Tankman, Tankman. Hello. I don't know how tough you are, actually. Bloody hell, you're quite tough. I just peppered you with fucking grenades. Die. Oh. Oh, he's not that tough. Nah, fuck you. Question is, are this... Hopefully, he is. He's still scanning me. Awesome. I've never got as far as finding out what's at the sort of four-star wanted level. Cool. Oh my god, four stars! Four stars seems bad. Oh my fucking god! Jesus Christ! Okay, right. New rule. Don't get four... Oh my god. Wow, okay. Uh. Right, four star... Uh, at least it's got a health bar. If it has a health bar, we can kill it! Oh, 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 Jesus Christ. Right, um, okay, new plan. Ah, run, 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 run. Oh my god. Oh, fuck my life. Into pieces. This is literally my last resort. Right, okay, I don't have a plan. Uh, that's bad. Where the fuck is my ship? Sentinel Force deactivated. I got away from him. What? What? So running a short distance across an island was all they actually wanted me to do? Oh cool. Well I happen to know from past experience now that I can go and have a look at this bugger. Let's go have a look. Hello? Please don't step on me. Ah! Cool. Well, I mean, credit where it's due, that is big. Bloody hell, what do you think there is at five star? And bam. We're going to use a little bit more of our launch thrusters, and it's not going to let me crash into you. Yeah, okay, so let's let's talk very quickly about the actual flying model as well. This flies more like one of the old, and I mean very old, Star Wars games on console, in that you're not actually flying the ship. So I have no real control of up or down. I can aim down, 
but it doesn't really go down if you look it drifts back up again so it, it'll automatically uh, collision detect as well so if I fly towards a mountain it'll just sort of fly up and over it which is quite nice and it, it does work when you get used to it basically I can left and right either with the mouse or with the keyboard because that's what I'm playing with or I imagine with a controller obviously um, but uh, there's no real sort of flying involved which is fine it's just sort of unexpected maybe hmm and I've just landed my plane here on the plains of Cursed. And as you can see, the weird mutated antelope things hide in the tall grass from possible predators. Fuck off, Spiky Bush. I'm being a David Attenborough. Where are you? Oh, you're tiny. Oh, hello. I haven't met you before. Let's try and scan you. You are... Ultasus Viandu, and you're, you're vegetarians, which isn't surprising. I don't think I can get very close to you to have a look. Oh, hello. Oh, no, don't be scared. I'm just going to run after you. Don't be scared. Come here. Let me feed you. Oh, you're lovely. Hello. So this is a procedurally generated animal. And, uh, you know, and it's a happy one because I just fed it as well. Isn't that amazing? In a weird sort of way. Oh, did it just... Oh, it just dug! Oh, I've, I've got a... What a... Oh! It, because I fed it, it's led me to something. Okay, well, let's just... You'll you get to hear that noise a lot when you play this game. Let's try and free up some space on our ship. So let's refuel our launch thrusters. And that as well. And what particular substance is annoying me this week? Or oh, what do I have? Mm, fuck off suspension fluid. Right, there we go. What's he led me to? Oh, he led me to some titanium. That's pretty useless, but kind of cute. Oh, thank you. Oh, and that's a grown up one. These are. Oh, are you the same species? Yeah, you are, because you're just as much of a fucking coward. But he was much bigger, so that must have been a juvenile that I found. Oh, well, that's that's really sort of cute. Hello. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I scary? I suppose I am quite scary, really. Cool. Yeah, so the whole world is made up of these randomly generated life forms. Oh, you're still happy. Hello. You like me. Your mother doesn't like me very much. Oh, do you, do you want fuss? Oh, you're cute. You're really helpful. Oh, oh I like you. I think I can transfer the titanium. No, I'm gonna just I'm gonna throw away the titanium you gave me before. Find out what you got me this. You got me some zinc. Oh, that, that's gonna really help my natural testosterone levels. Thank you. You see, I think that's really nice, and it's completely irrelevant. I love things in games that are really irrelevant, and I don't. I was gonna say I love this game. I don't think I quite do. There's there's a lot wrong. You have learned the co learned the Corvax word for retreat. Next week, the Corvax word for France. Yeah, there's a lot of things I like about this game. I don't think I can recommend it to everybody, because the things I like are me making my own fun. I can make my own fun, because I can wander across planets like this, and I can enjoy them for their own sake, and I can strike up relationships with chirpy little deer like this, and think they're cute, and I can scan the weird Stegosaurus creature down here. Upson's and in a minute I can... You are really not... You are really cute. You really like me, don't you? Do you think I'm your mummy? Aww. And I can get distracted by cute things, and I think that's really nice. Not everyone likes that from games. So if you don't like that from games, don't play this game. If you like exploring, and if you like weirdness, and if you can sort of just, you know, potter around and enjoy the sort of ambient atmosphere, I absolutely recommend this game. By all means, have a go at it. I think it's very nice. At what it does. So if you want to criticise it, absolutely do so. Criticise it for its flaws, not for what it doesn't do, if that makes sense. Okay, great. So, ladies and gentlemen, on that amazingly ambiguous note, thank you all very much for watching. My name was Jensen Blake, this was No Man's Sky, and you were all fantastic. Thank you all very, very much, and goodbye.